Hey, welcome back to Ask Allison. So today we have the following question. My business is basically, basically fueled by credit cards right now and it's causing a lot of stress. I have several full fee clients who owe for a few visits. Another therapist friend mentioned using a collection agency. Can we do that? So I'd like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring us today. Um, first, I wanna make sure this problem doesn't continue. So if you don't already have a policy around this, I want you to create one. I want you to add it to your practice policy form and have all your clients sign it. I encourage you to include that all sessions are paid for at the time of the appointment, that you keep credit cards on file for all clients, that if a card is denied, the person can come in for the next appointment, but they have to pay the balance before the session begins for that session and the one that they're late for. Uh, the beginning of the year is a really good time to go over your policy with clients. You can say something like, oh, I like to revisit some important policies with my clients at the beginning of the year. I'm running a little behind this year. And then go over things like limits of confidentiality, your late cancellation and no-show policy, and what happens when people have a balance. Uh, you can engage a collection agency. We're allowed to do that. But I do it as a very last resort. And it's not because of therapist guilt about it. Uh, but mostly because there's often some juicy clinical work in the conversations about owing you money. Um, and because I've heard that working with collection agencies is also a huge pain in the neck for the clinician. That's another reason. Um, so if these clients are ghosting you, I'd give plenty of warning via email, snail mail, and voicemail um, about sending it to collections. If these are clients you're still seeing and they're paying for their current sessions, I would talk to them about a payment plan to get current. So maybe, maybe adding a portion of the balance to every session until they're caught up um, with the option to pay it off anytime. And that way you can, get them, you can get them caught up and continue to do good work with them. Lastly, you may avoid this in the future by talking about your fee and that very first phone conversation you have with people. I let my clients know what I cost and that I work with people weekly for at least a few months. And then I ask them if they can make that work. And if they hesitate, if they say they can't, I never, um, I never try to make them want to or try to sell that they should. I just give them really great referrals that take insurance or have a lower fee than me. Um, yeah. So it might be if their financial situations change, that's another thing you can revisit. If you have a sliding scale policy, um, you could apply that to them. Uh, if, the, if it hasn't changed and they're just not paying because either they couldn't afford you to begin with or, um, or they're just kind of like disorganized with it and not good with their money. Like maybe it, they just keep like bouncing checks because they're not paying attention to it. Oh, that's such good fun work to do clinically. Um, there's a lot of fear there that you can work through that will free them up in other areas of your life too. Anyway, um, we have scripts for talking to clients about balances owed, talking clearly and confidently about your fee, and really basically every other awkward conversation I can think of in the What to Say When course, which is in the Abundance Party. You can check that out over at AbundanceParty.com. If you have any questions for me, shoot me an email, ask at AbundancePracticeBuilding.com is how to do that. Thanks so much.